Well, I'm definitely not lean. I try not to be mean. Uh, the only time I get green is if I eat the wrong food. And yeah, I'm not really a fighting machine. The only thing I'm really fighting is a sore back and some parking tickets. But I do know a couple of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that are lean, mean, green fighting machines. And they got a new trailer out and I want to watch it. Let's go. Welcome to the Cine Fanatics. My name is Robert Adams, and today I've got a trailer reaction for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. This is a second trailer. We've already got the first one that kind of gave us like a tease of the visuals and everything. And of course, you know, they got to release this new trailer because this week is also Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, which I am anxious to see that. We'll be watching that tomorrow. Review will be up to later tomorrow evening, so keep an eye out for that. But for right now, the big trailer that they're attaching to it is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Um... Again, the first trailer it looked alright, had a nice visual style, very, very similar to Across the Spider-Verse in visually. I, I'm a huge Ninja Turtles fan, it was definitely my uh, something I was into when I was growing up. The cartoon came out in 1987, it was a major part of my childhood, and I absolutely adore them. So, seeing a new modern take with different sensibilities to it, I'm a little bit leery, but I mean, again, this is coming from eternal teenager Seth Rogen, so hopefully he's going to be doing good, really pushing that teenage boundary on this. But yeah, I'll take a look at this, because I'm e eager to get into this trailer. <laughs> Awesome. He's awesome. Boys, where have you been? We're just running errands. That's it. Fruit Ninja. Some of the guys wanted to get pizza, and I tried to talk him out of it. You ratted us out. Hey, don't use that word that way. I mean, it's twenty twenty three. Nice. Hey guys. Cancel Michelangelo. That were shunned by society, and we could do what we wanted. What would you guys do? Go to high school? Maybe get a girlfriend? Can you imagine that? Not likely. This is insane. Turtles, mutant, karate teens. I want to know everything about you. Our dad is definitely not a giant rat. That makes me feel like he's a rat. Police are back on the teenager. Crime wave led by a super fly. Nobody's ever seen his face. Why? Because he kills everyone who does. Cool. No, not cool. <laughs> a bit cool. Can I kick it? We take out super fun, and then everyone will think we're cool. They'll accept us. Can I kick it? He's making a deal tonight under the Brooklyn Bridge. Definitely hitting that teenage. What the? Y'all some little tortoises, huh? I can't believe there are other mutants. You want to roll with us? Uh, Humans are never gonna like us. Bebop rock steady. So we gonna let the mutants rule the earth. People's they got to go. <laughs> Mondo Gecko. Twist. We can't stop him. We gotta try. Six in the morning, police at my door. <laughs> Ice Cube. <laughs> Cruising down the street, my Thanks, six son. folk. Michelangelo, <laughs> you have heart. Donatello, you have wisdom. Raphael, you have bravery. And Leonardo, honor. Enough talk. I dream about fighting every night. You've got a rage oh, problem, snap. right? It's not a problem. Can I shake you? It's a huge stat cast right there. Whew. Yeah, um, so it looks interesting. It is, the visual style is, it's a little bit different than, like, the Spider-Verse movies. Um, this one, it kind of feels like, first of all, I feel like I need to see the actual movie to judge that animation style fairly. That's the kind of animation style I, be, I believe works better when you're watching it flowing in a movie and not edited and chopped together in a trailer. Uh, so the trailer is kind of lending itself to a lot of like visual noise. Uh, kind of what I mean by that, if you're familiar with noise, it's a lot of like this like gran granular looking stuff that you see on the screen in some videos. 
In this case, though, the noise is also... You're seeing these visuals and they're flashing across real quick, but before your brain's able to actually process what they are and how they look, you're already moving on to the next thing. And I believe that's probably a fault more of just the trailer. Uh, I And that's why I say I want to see the actual movie because that would, that would probably flow a lot better. You don't have this quick choppy editing unless they choose to edit the movie that way. Who knows? But... Otherwise, yeah, it, the visual style, it, it looks like it could work. It has very good potential to it. Uh, and so for the actual story, something seems to be lacking just a little bit. And I, I can't put my finger or my foot on it, and I'm not sure what it is. It, it's, it's the lack of the foot. Uh, there's no shredder, and there doesn't seem to be anything leading towards like the Foot Clan being the major villains. Now, that's not necessarily a complaint. I am one of the few people that's like, hey, we're going to make another Superman movie. Can we make a villain other than Lex Luthor, please? Like, I don't need another Lex. There's a whole bunch of villains that uh, Superman has to fight. Let him fight one of them instead of Lex for the umpteenth time. So, same for the Ninja Turtles. Like, I like if they could fight someone other than Shredder, but anytime you're introducing a new a new visual to this, I kind of like if they at least have Shredder as like a side character or a nod. Maybe they'll introduce him in the movie. Maybe he'll be a post-credits tease, uh, kind of like he was in the uh, 2007 uh, CGI Ninja Turtles movie. They just, they, they mention him like towards the end and like, aha, Shredder's still here, even though he wasn't the main bad guy. Uh, I want to see something like that. The other thing that puzzles me about that, though, is Bebop and Rocksteady are in this movie, but Shredder is not. Shredder is the one who created Bebop and Rocksteady, uh, at least in the 1987 animated series, and almost any other depiction since, Shredder has been directly responsible for them. Uh, in the, the 90s movies, Shredder created Toka and Razar instead of Bebop and Rocksteady, just because uh, Peter Laird, did, one of the co-creators of Ninja Turtles, just did not like Bebop and Rocksteady from the cartoon, so so he refused to sign off on it. Or at least that's how I remember that story going. So, yeah, some of this is a little weird. I, I don't know why. I, I do, I absolutely love that they are, they're bringing in some of these characters from, like, back in the day, from the older cartoon, or even the action figure line. Uh, you got, like, what was that, Scumbug? There was, I know Ray Filet is in this. Uh, Mondo Gecko. It looked like uh, one of the frogs, like Genghis Frog or Napoleon Bonafrog is in there. Um, then you've got this Superfly, which was supposed to be, I guess, a take on Baxter Stockman. Uh, which in the original cartoon, Baxter is turned into a fly. Uh, also sticking on with the theme is that you got Ice Cube voicing Superfly, which in the original comic, not the cartoon, the original comic, Baxter Stockman was uh, was portrayed as a as a black person. So I do like that they're still sticking with that as far as the voice voicing goes on it. Uh, yeah, the original 1980s cartoon, uh, they, they, I don't know why they whitewashed Baxter Stockman. It, it was fine as a kid because I didn't know any better, but growing up as an adult now, looking back on it, I was like, that's weird, and I don't know why they changed that. Or I just don't want to know. <laughs> it's like ignorance is bliss in this case, I guess. Uh, I know future cartoons, anything else, uh, the movies, the 2003 animated series, they did go back and make Baxter Black, so... It works for this because it is paying homage to, I guess, that original character. If Superfly is supposed to be Baxter Stockman, and if so, uh, spoiler, sorry, uh, but that's how it was in the comics and the cartoons and stuff like that. It, that's Baxter. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, it looks interesting. Uh, again, I'm a huge Ninja Turtles fan, so I'm gonna be slightly interested in almost anything Ninja Turtles. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the the current Nickelodeon cartoons that are on TV. I don't even know if it's still on TV, but that visual style and sound just, uh, it just, it, 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 it's not for me. Uh, I think I, I fell off Ninja Turtles back with the 2003 animated series, and then that one got a little weird and just, yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, I, I am excited for this just because I do like it from that teenage angle that Seth Rogen seems to be doing. It really highlighting the fact they're teenagers. Everything else I've seen, they've always basically just seemed like adults, even though they were called teenagers. They didn't really act like teenagers except get into like a little bit of shenanigans every once in a while. So this looks like it might be 
pretty good. So yeah, I uh, can't wait. August 2nd, I believe that was, it just changed dates. It was shifted around. So yeah, August 2nd, it's going to be coming out. We'll be seeing it and we'll have a review up. So make sure you check that out. Anyways, that's going to be re my reaction for this trailer. What did you think of it? Let me know down below in the comments. While you're down there, make sure you hit the like button, smash that subscribe button like all the other YouTubers say, I guess. And make sure you follow us at the TheCineFanatics on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me personally at Robert Adams MLP on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and YouTube.com slash at Robert Adams MLP. Anyways, that's going to do it for this reaction. We'll see y'all in the next video. Have a great day. Cowabunga, I guess. <laughs> it's radical.